is nine feet two, two hours far up. If not, everyone around me was dying on What was I thinking? Hello species of the universe, this is Celestial Infinite 678 here to bring your Peter Eleanorm rework. Ta -da. Uh, gender is male, age is 97, uh, birth is August 4th, 1921, uh, height is 8 feet tall and 2 inches, weight is 510 labs, uh, species human cyborg, uh, homeland Der Yarva, uh, rank slash class, uh, scientist, unless if that's not oh, that, <laughs> um, power, none. Uh, weapon and weapons abilities. So, uh, his weapon right here is double axes. Um, they're just regular double axes and they can just put right here on his arms. Just go ahead and drop the other one. Voila. There you go. And then go ahead and put the other one here. There we go. And then both of them um, can be put on this thing right here. And then it just becomes a double sided axe. And this did not come off. Cool. Let's just go ahead and put this one back right here. And of course that had to happen. Oh my gosh, these things are so sensitive. Little pieces are sensitive, little flux. And there we go. All right, so that's that. I'll just go ahead and put you back like so. And then the axis. This one in the back right here. And then the axis on its side. There we are. So that's the uh, axis are regular um ex except that when when um, Peter holds them, they can be used as tasers, but only when he holds them. And why not? So a chemical rail, chemic rail, I mean. Um, this thing right here on this side, it is a lower arm rail gun. Uh, it shoots a, it, it shoots a bullet able to destroy metal material like heavy reinforced closed doors. Um, after two shots, it needs to cool down before uses, usage again. So that's that. Um, then the mini gun. You know, it just kind of fixes fingers right here a little bit. It looks a little creepy. <clears throat> so his mini gun right here. It's a lower arm, lower arm M134 a mini gun with a with the ammo coming from from the from the back capacity of 200 and then right here is like the wire that the ammo goes through and then it just goes through right here so yeah um chemical sphere is um these things on his back uh it used to be like this uh one piece but now it's just i changed it to this so, but i just get one of them it's just your your normal typical sphere, or the, uh, the they, they were from they were first introduced in the Paracas, yeah, yeah Paracas. But anywho, um, the spheres on his back are almost arms until Peter injects the final formula from his fingers, and this is why I have his fingers up here, uh, da, 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 or one of his fingers are one of his hands up so <clears throat> the formulas um that he has are 
explosives. Oh, no, wait. This one's explosives, this is healing, Anastasia, and melting with radiation. And all he has to do is just kind of, kind of like, just, pew, 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 pew. just do that. Whichever of the formulas he wants to choose. But he is limited um, to six of these uh, per... Per... <laughs> oh, damn it, that one fell. Uh, per carry. So, yeah. So you should use them wisely. And last one is chest laser. Um, the, laser the laser can be used only two times per charge of three weeks. And so it's this one right here. Little red one. Can do that. Anywho. Uh, next, we got um, equipment slash artifact. Uh, the only one he has is the uh, ESRTU. Now, ES, ESRTO 20 or ESRTO 20. Yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't really uh, plan that. So let's move on. Uh, personality, curious and riskier, riskier, risker. My bad. Uh, ability slash skills, uh, biochemist. And to his backstory. <clears throat> uh, Peter Eleanor at 17 accidentally pregnated his uh, lover. He then wanted to leave her, neither let both their parents know about this accident. Uh, so they left uh, their lives behind, never to see them again. Uh, they both tried to work hard to survive in their new lives. Peter even was going to college to learn about chemistry. Bio biochemistry, my bad. Um, he enjoyed the subject in school. It became harder when Peter's lover, Samantha, uh, couldn't work anymore for she was feeling pain in her in her body. Uh, Peter and Samantha for five years had struggled, uh, sacrificed so much, finally were able to catch a break for a little bit. While they kept working. Peter also, also finished college, uh, went on a search for work as soon as he can. Uh, two years later, Peter was recruited by a private company to help help them with a project. Peter was somewhat suspicious, but they paid good good um, money. They, they paid good. Uh, he needed the money for his family. Um, family. He accepted the offer. The employers uh, gave gave the task to Peter. Um, was to analyze four stones that glowed. He was required to wear a hazard suit for the stones had radiation unknown to them. Uh, Peter did his um, stuff and concluded that the glowing stones. Radiation isn't airborne, but by touch. Uh, three months later, uh, Peter and the and f nine other scientists were tasked to somehow insert a shard of the four glowing stones um, in a body in one body uh, by using special tools they offer they um, gave to them gave to everyone. I mean. Uh, working on the project. Peter felt sick to his stomach when for the bodies they wanted to put the short stones in were in in were kids kids bodies live ones to put to more detail about that. Almost two years later uh, the scientists and Peter uh, were successful with inserting the shard stones inside a child to to however, uh, to kid, da. Uh, however, uh, it was temporary. However, it was temporary. Uh, the child was in a coma. Oh my gosh, I'm so lost. Uh, my bad, my bad. Um, the child went to a coma temporarily. None of them, none of the scientists, um, 
saw the kid again. Employ the employers led the scientists and Peter into a room where they got locked up, releasing a gas that burned without any flames, damaging the skin first slowly. Seeing the veins, um, Peter almost falls, but someone caught him, uh, taking him through a portal. He was stabilized by a small pink robot figure and saw a tall white robot figure before closing his eyes. Once he woke up, he saw the pink robot robot figure one last time before disappearing through a portal. He tried to go after after it, but wasn't able to uh, run faster. He had he had he looked at his limbs they, that looked very different to him. Panicked, he looked around um, for a pond to see himself since he was was left at a forest. Oh my gosh! Um, when he found a when he found a pond, um, he he was mortified, mortified to see he was wasn't himself anymore. A video plays automatically on his visor, giving him details of his new body, named Ezerto uh, Twenty, and other other details. It took some time for Peter to understand. The information given to him um, by that same pink robot that saved his life. And that is his backstory. Holy crap. I was hoping this was not going to take so long. <laughs> but um, let me just kind of back up my camera here. Because, yeah, this is... Uh, he's not going to fit in the camera frame. But I'm just going to show him how he looks like. And I he's a thick boy right here. Woo. So, that's his front... This is his back, you saw the back right there, and then right there in his back on his legs, I put these parts right here. I've seen some uh, mockist put them on the side, but I wanted to try to put it right here, like in between the legs. In between the legs, I just want that, so... Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, right there is the connection to the ammo kind of pack. And then right here, I'm not sure if you guys would have noticed, but... This actually is um, as Azerto twenty. Um, I was able to put it in time, and his finger fell. Cool, 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 cool. Eh, all right, so yeah, that is a rework of um, Peter Eleanor or Azerto twenty, however you want to go with whichever of those. Uh, but yeah, um, that's his rework. Pretty cool, I guess. Um, Anywho, uh, thank you for watching this, um, and I'm um, hoping you and your loved ones are safe during this pandemic and other other things are happening. And um, yeah, all right. Um, have a fantastic day, days. Um, bye bye.